my Grim Dawn stream. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with Grim Dawn, it's kind of a the sequel, the, the true sequel to Diablo um, versus like a Diablo 3 kind of thing. And what it is, is, um, you know, it's just a RPG dungeon, dungeon crawl kind of thing. Um, and what we're going to be doing is, so I play, we play veteran hardcore. You can see it up in the corner there. And which basically means that we, um, when we die, we die. For real, the character's dead. So this character is not long for this world. Oh, shoot. Um, so we're, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be building a, uh, what I call a plague caster. So the idea is, is it's a plague based Nurgle like, come on, uh, Nurgle like champion, right? Um, and we're going to see how far we can take that. And so obviously we'll be doing, first one out the gate will be Necromancer. The skeletons, because the skeletons are kind of useful for us, especially early on. Um, they kind of become less useful over time, but in the beginning, they're pretty useful. The other option would be to just be a purely casting type character without the. Um, Skeletons, and that that might actually not be a bad way to go. I don't know. We'll take a look. What's in, what I love about Grim Dawn is just how m customizable everything is, you know. And we can really play with it, customize ourselves down, see how far we can go, see how long we can last. Um, because this game is. Delightfully brutal as far as survival goes. Hopefully, my sound isn't too bad. I'm still learning some of the, the stuff. Leather pants. But you basically, it's kind of like a Tabula Raza kind of idea, where you start out with a singular character, and that singular character has um, all the same attributes. And then at, over time, as you grow, you can develop them into whatever you want. You want a sorcerer, or a, you know, all sorts of stuff. Okay, let's see. All right, so the the options. I was kind of thinking about is an occultist, which would give me the Dreeg's evil eye, vulnerabilities, blood of Dreeg. So there's some good plague based skills there. Not counting some of these poxes. Right, so there's, there's a lot of cool. The occultist carries some cool ideas and cool stuff with it. Um, Curse of Frailty, Mend Flesh, Summon Hellhound. So, we won't be probably doing any of that kind of stuff because we want to stick to our. to what we're doing. The Shaman has locusts and stuff like that. And then obviously the Necromancer has. Uh, can summon skeletons and also this really cool blight fiend that I enjoy. Let's start with an occultist and we'll just start with the get some drig going on here. So get some 
spells happening. Oh, we need to upgrade this person. So, I like to get my physique to about 100 in the beginning, because even as a caster, you want to be able to rock enough armor that you can survive, because otherwise... Yeah, there we go. Otherwise, you don't last very long. So Dr Drig is basically like a plague fireball. Nothing too fancy schmancy. few dudes in there. Sorry, my microphone is right in front of where I need to see stuff. Let's see. Got the boom boom. This is one of the cooler aspects too, is you can you can rock a gun and a shield at the same time. They really did a swell job in thinking through how things kind of go together. And how the game fits together, and it's just a really well-made game. If you, if you're into Diablo, and kind of disappointed with the way that Diablo is going, um, then this is definitely a good place to be. Um, there's a lot of people that don't even know this game exists because it's kind of a smaller publisher, so it doesn't get the same kind of press as like Diablo does. I definitely consider it the the true heir. To Diablo because like Diablo 3 it was okay um, but there really wasn't a heck of a lot of growth as far as how the game functioned where this game on the other hand like I say we're, we'll get into getting into you not only are we gonna mix two professions which technically we could be a pure occultist we could just stay within the occultist line if we really wanted to um, Um, you know, but you can mix things, you can mix classes, you can, you can, there's just a lot you can really do with the whole thing. And once we get into constellations, you can take it even further. And, uh, I'll show those to you guys here. If you haven't played it, honestly, if you're watching this, you probably have played this game before. Um which this game is, you know, fantastic, but um, if you have played it before, then you're going to be like, wow, this guy's mediocre, <laughs> which I am, um, but I do enjoy the game, and uh, I do, like I say, play, enjoy playing hardcore. I like setting up weird little um, goals for myself, like, for example, um, if I want to... Um, one of those things where it's like, well, I want to, you know, create, like, what I'm doing now, like a, a plague caster kind of thing, where they only do specific things. I enjoy doing that and kind of toying with those kind of restrictions. Obviously, if I went with more of a meta build, if I went for something a little more conventional, then I could probably get to later parts of the game. As you'll see, I, I usually top out at about 30 or so. Just kind of depends on how, where I end up. But most of the time, my um, my guys die. That's why I was actually kind of surprised that I had a couple dudes in there. I, I think I thought they were dead, so I didn't mess with them too much. Because I just figured they were... They were as well, and it turns out they're not dead. 
which is cool. Spent skills. I thought I said I had a devotion. I don't have any skills in devotion. <laughs> oh no! So I'm going to have to build up my spirit. Like I say though, um, I like to get my armor up. I'm going to help for survivability because I do die on this one quite a bit. Cool word of power that robs enemies of their fortitude, makes them slow and fragile, something familiar. And the bird would probably be nice, but like I said, the, we're not, you know, the, blur, the bird isn't a plague bird, so he shoots lightning. Surely, my friend, slowly but surely. in the mic. Uh, so, oh, pff, helps if you pay attention. So eventually I'd like to meet up with some folks that I can play with um, on here so that I have, you know, folks to play with, like I say. Um, not always busy. I, you know, I'm not always available though, so that's kind of one of those things. Anyways, I can be found on the Twitter at Nurgle Loves You, um, as well as on the YouTube. And actually, on YouTube, I'm kind of changing the name and 
rebranding a little bit. I've had this channel for a while, but I haven't done much with it, and I really would like to do more with it, so I'm trying to be a little more consistent and kind of decide what I want to do with the, the whole thing, because, you know, if you don't have an idea what you're doing, you're just kind of wasting your time. So, Chaos Cult TV is what I'm working on on YouTube, which is going to be hobby-centric towards chaos um, in Warhammer 40k. Um, and then I'll post these videos as well um, to that channel, but the... So far, pretty easy, and it's usually that way in the beginning, especially because, uh, like I say, I focus on a specific skill, which gives me, lets me hit a lot harder than normal, and then about 30 or so is when I start getting in trouble. Uh, doo -doo. I have burst on impact, I'm sure I my central core. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so I, I gotta find people to play with, I think. Maybe someone with a little more experience than me. So that I can, um, they can kind of teach me how to do these stream setups and stuff like that. I do the tutorials and whatnot, but I kind of play with, you know, sound and all that kind of stuff. But, what do you say? It's... Big fat boys. So I just wasn't paying attention. Spaldrons. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's shoulders. works and the way my voice works and that might be how I have the Lodgy set up. 
So I'm probably gonna need to play with that because my voice isn't lining up with my mouth, which is annoying, I hate. It's kinda like it's dubbed. Ooh, shoot. Run away. Where are you going, kid? Run away. Come hmm. We'll let the energy come back. Should be a Special in here somewhere. Hey. Whoa. Whoa, doggy. Nine. Go outside for a second. Jeez Louise. hurting me so hard. Well, probably because I'm using a plague spell against the plague monster. Well, like, usually it doesn't hurt them that bad. It sure hurting me, though. I gotta wait for things to chill out. Hmm. He's not healing. Is he healing right away? Jeez Louise. Good bro. Poison. Am I using a poison skill? Yes, yes I am. Okay. We're gonna come back to that dude. Because until I have something else to kill him with, there is no point in playing that game. I'm just going to. He is way bigger, meaner, and stronger than me. I like I say, playing hardcore and and on veteran level, it's hurtful. Okay, so we need something else to bring the pain. Energy cost, bleeding resistance. I'm not gonna use the bird. I can't use the. got friends what we got we got a poison skill that's what we got this will put us over 100 there we go this way But I say normally what I do is I actually start this type of character with skeletons. But today we're going to be doing a purely plague build. And I opted to start with the occultist, where, like I say, normally I start with the, the necromancer. So that should be. Uh, it's making it interesting. I mean, that Eye of Dreek, it does, it's a good spell. It hits with base damage and then it has a hot attached, or, you know, uh, not a hot, but a dot attached to it. Which is sweet, but I've never had problems with that big blade, uh, that big blade shrew or whatever that is. I've never had issues with that guy before. I don't know, I think that's what it is, is I, I just, he's immune to poison and here I am. Only using poison. <clears throat> I 
Oh, I have someone actually paying. Uh, I have someone actually that was talking to me. I'm sorry. I don't know if you left or not. Uh, I was. I've never had somebody actually talk to me before. Um, yep. Let's see. Is that person still there? Hello. Sorry. Um, do I see? I don't know what's going on. Uh, back to Twitch. Where's my Twitch? My channel. Oh, I lost him. 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 Uh, I'm sitting in Krogoth. Uh, I'm sitting in Krogoth. Uh, I'm sitting in oh, Krogoth. No. Oh, no. Uh, I'm sitting in oh, Krogoth. Oh, no. I'm sitting in Krogoth. Oh, no. Ah, there you go. I will reach out to this person and I will add friend. There we go. Is my guy dead? Hopefully my guy's not dead. Not dead! I wonder if I can whisper this person. Whispers are disabled and pop out chat. Okay. Whisper. Mm, whispers. Pop out notifications. Friends. I don't have any friends. Okay, that's understandable. I can see why I don't have any friends. Boom. Cancel request. Whisper pop ups or pop out chat. Four messages mod. Go to that guy. So let me talk to this person. Search people. Obsid Cian Crow Goth. There, that person right there. Sorry I missed you. I was <laughs> not paying attention. Kapow! Alright. Bring that back up. There, return to that. Boom. Okay. Let's figure out what we're doing here. So as, as Obsidian was saying, that water kills you, um, and so you want to kind of stay out of the water. The problem that I was running into is I was getting raffle stomped before I could get anywhere. So I was, I was having to run away, and uh, so I couldn't establish the high ground. You know, pull an Obi-Wan and get the high ground on the guy. Yeah, sorry, Obsidian there, guy. I, person, I, I'm not used to looking at chat. That's something I've just never, you know, I'm, I'm new to this whole thing. I'm surprised I found somebody, though. Like, I actually had somebody, like, stop by, which is nice. Gives me hope that I will find people to play with. Um, 
at some point, you know? but I can't hear. definitely prefer having the skeletons playing outside my normal my normal plan here usually it's that or I'm like a, I play like a soldier or something a little bit heavier you know beefy tank Yeah, so I, uh, in reference to um, Obsidian's question, which was, um, you know, if I was just starting the game out, yes, sort of. So I play off and on, um, oh, it's good, that's a head, that's not a belt. <laughs> um, I play off and on, but I'm not good at the game, so I... Basically, I'm like a beginner because I suck, and so I usually stick. I get to about 35, level 35 or so, and then I die. So, I'd like to be good at this game. You know, a lot of the dudes that play this game are pretty good. Dun, 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 dun. B Brinces. Okay, so this is where we do devotions. Devotions give you a certain level of, of uh, um, red affinity. So devotions give you um, access to these constellations, but then give you additional skill sets, right? So like this is the rat constellation of the rat. So it's going to give us cunning and spirit, poison damage, 
more poison damage, so we're focusing a lot on poison damage. So let's go one, two. Um, we want a burst skill. Harness the Eldritch powers of someone attacking. Harness the Eldritch power of soul, burning your enemies with entropic energy with every weapon strike. That's kind of cool. Big boom boom. Bloody pox. Yeah, pox is always good. Let's switch out, so we're going to go and pox. There. Do, 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 do. Looks like that bloody pox is more of an AOE kind of thing. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're gonna put some spirit to this thing because we need more spiritual power. We need to embrace our cunning. Health, energy regeneration. Cunning. Bonuses to health. Bonuses duration. Pierce damage. Oh, it's an increase physical pierce bleed and internal trauma damage. Magical damage. We want spirit. Spiritus Sancti. And then this guy. for a minute so we can figure out what's going on. <laughs> there you go. The dead attacks have slowed a creature. I need some time to plan our strip. There we go. Let me go attack to these guys, get ourselves into town. Quest going here. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, that's done. Illusionist. Another oh, kind of cool, I guess. Don't need any of that though. Greetings, child. I person Cam 
send you over, search them. Sell, 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 yes. Alright. Oh, boom, boom. Let's see if there's any guns that do decent. There. Uh, let's see if there's something that'll give us stats. The five percent casting speed. That's nice. Makes this cast a little faster. It's a six percent casting speed. Ether damage. Invincibility. Chaos damage. Cold damage. Poison damage. That's if I just hit with it, I think, though. Yeah, we'll call it good where we're at. What do we need? Chest. We need a chest piece, though. Good enough for good enough for me right now. Alright, let's see. I think we gotta go back. Figure out what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We're a little higher and we have that other skill now. Let's see about going and killing that water demon thing. attention at all. What is a blunderbuss of decay? Let's 
go in and run. We're gonna try to run, fool, run. Oh, get out of the water. Okay. There we go. Yeah, go. Ah, where's the mana? Nein, nein, ich kann nicht Deutsch. See, I'm just not. It's all that poison in there. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Run away, fool, run away. There. Easy, Louise. Let's do this. We're gonna switch this to Dreg's Eye. Switch this to Weapon Attack. We're gonna switch this to Blood Pox. So hopefully I can cast No. No, no, no. big guy. Over here, big guy. There we go. Run through the water again. I need to let my constitution come back a little bit. Let's go play some more somewhere else. We'll come back. We just need to remember where that's at. There. Yes. Because that's pathetic. I should bleed a little bit better now. I think that bleed was part of the problem. I was just gonna have the. There we go. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That bleed working much better now. Mm -hmm. Oh, skills. One cunning, so that I can use said blunderbuss. Mm -mm. 
Oh, it's not an AoE. It's a disease. Fascinating. So that makes sense, right? There's a... He pass, cast it on one dude and he passes it on to the other dudes that he touches. There you go. I like that. That's pretty sweet. Pretty nifty idea. There you go. Yes, yes. Mm hmm. Pretty sweet. nifty idea. I definitely don't understand this game as well as I should. It's definitely a much more interesting and knowledge-based game than I am used to. And so that's actually, so that's, I mean, fundamentally why I'm here, right? Is I'm working on getting better. Let's cast this now. I'm fundamentally working on getting better at stand in the water as um, I've been told. Okay, heal yourself. So the land doesn't hurt me, but there we go. Bleed, bitch. Yeah, that bleed's working much, much better than the poison was. Jeez. Jeez Louise. First person to ever watch, you know, actually jump on one of my streams and I completely miss him because I'm not paying attention. That's what I get. I should have been paying better attention. But, yeah, it is what it is. Hopefully they forgive me. But, I'm new to this whole thing. But yeah, so that's, that's kind of the reason why. I want to play Grim Dawn because it's I love hard games and this game has so much complexity and so many different ways that you can play it um, that you know it definitely gives you this uh, gives you a challenge and there's a lot to learn so I don't know a heck of a lot about anything really other than I've played like I said I get to about level 30 and then I Screw it all up. That's probably like the water thing. You know, I just don't notice stuff. But I, I've never had a problem with that with that rat thing before. Like that was that was completely new, completely new to me. Because usually I just walk in there and pound on them and get it done. Well, but normally I, you know, like I say, normally I have skeletons. I kind of have a specific play style, and this is outside my play style. Because I usually prefer minions so that I don't have to, you know, I kind of use them as a, as a meat shield kind of thing, and then I can play with my spells. 
I don't have to be as on the fly like I am right now where I'm doing a lot of running and kiting, you know. Take that. It's cool. Like, that's a cool spell. Like, I, I haven't spent... I don't know that I've ever used this spell. Usually I get the Eye of Dreed, but I concentrate mostly on... Um, necromancer skills, especially in the beginning, and then how those work. So this is the first time I've kind of really taken the occultist seriously, and I find that fascinating. Whoa, what are you doing, big guy? Disgrace. Okay, let's see. Bernard slightly chewed Buckler, physical damage, internal trauma damage, poison, and acid resistance. That's kind of cool. Might as well. Physique, cunning, and physique, huh? Let's go. Let's see what we got there. So this is probably a good spot to stop for tonight. We will continue on with what we're doing. Once again to uh, Obsidian Krogoth. Um, I am sorry I missed you. We probably will never be back. But I appreciate you trying to help and keeping me on the straight and narrow anyways. So, that being said, Grandfather Nurgle loves you and I will see you next Wednesday. If anybody wants to play some Grimdawn. <laughs>